Gosh, I'm so freaking nervous. It's not even funny. Like, if I walk out of here looking like who shot John? Just, you know, you know, you know. <laughs> Hey, career girls. Thank you for tuning in to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'm so excited you guys are here because I'm trying something new and I'm doing it on camera. I am going to DIY permanently tint my eyebrows. Now, I don't think it's super permanent. I think it's more like it lasts like a week. But if you do your eyebrows every single day, like this is, this might as well be permanent. Like I loathe having to do my eyebrows every day. I don't have them done right now. Um, and my eyebrows aren't super thin, but they are thinning in areas that I am uncomfortable with walking out of the house and just letting them be free. I'm hoping that this DIY hack will help me not have to do my eyebrows every single day. Also, I wanna, I wanna see you more. I want to see you more. Hit that subscribe button, like my videos, Comment down below, I am a chatty Kathy, so I will respond and I will chat it up. Might ask you some questions because I'm nosy. Um, and hit the bell so that you guys know when I post new videos. Let me know what type of videos you wanna see so I can make sure I'm giving you the content that you want. Anyway, tune in to see how I'm gonna get my eyebrows looking gorgeous without having to do them every single day. So I had to get a little bit closer so you guys can really see these things. So I'm going to be using, just for men, for their beards. And I'm using M45 in dark brown. Um, I didn't want to use black because I don't want to be walking around here looking like Cruella DeVille, even though that's my boo, um, Disney fanatic. Anyway, I'm using mustache and beard just for men in dark brown. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, shape the outline of what I want my brows to look like. And then I'm going to fill in the dye, I guess, right? All right, let's just, let's just try it and see what happens. So first I'm gonna shape my eyebrows with petroleum jelly, just so I can avoid getting any dye on my skin. And after I do it with the petroleum jelly, I'm gonna go back in with concealer so that I can actually like see my shape. I can't really see it with this, I just wanna protect my skin. So it says put a line of this down the middle of the thing. And then take the developer and do equal amounts. So, you guys can see this. Equal amounts of developer. And now I'm going to mix it. Oh, here we go, y'all, here we go. Okay, take my angled brush and start dipping in. Let me get my close mirror for this, okay? Close magnifying. It's really cold. That's the first thing I've noticed. I want to make sure it's like dark down here. Like darker towards the back of my eyebrow and then lighter towards the front. Following the um, like the natural shape of my brow, so towards the front they tend to go up. So I'm gonna do that. All right. So as you can see, this side is already starting to turn, and I'm just looking at it. Right. I'm gonna go in and see where I want to wipe some of that dye off with one of my flat brushes. So right here, it's looking a like a little curve. So I'm just gonna go in and wipe some of that off. Now this side is the difficult side. This is where I'm like bald in some areas, missing hair. Like look how skinny it is right here. So brush my hair, is it? Nice. 
All right, y'all. I think I've done about as much as I'm gonna do. If I don't like it, I'll probably like see if it's possible to go and do a second application. And if it is, I'll come back and do the second application. But let's just see what this first application looks like. I'm going to leave it on longer than the box says because I read a few other things and they said, you know, five minutes wasn't really enough time. This one's kind of been on for five minutes already and I know it looks dark, but once I wipe it off, it's not gonna be this dark anymore. So I'm going to set my timer for probably three to four more minutes on this side and then actually do about 10 minutes on this side. So when I come back, you guys will be able to see me wipe off these brows. All right, let the countdown begin. All right, y'all, it's been on for 10 minutes. I got my microfiber face towel and I'm gonna use this to take off the uh, dye and hope that <laughs> please work I put a little bit of shampoo on here just a little bit and then wet it wring it out wrung it out wring it out hmm, whatever all right here goes nothing oh y'all I don't want them to be too dark either because then I look like Bert and Ernie Okay, okay. All right, so here is the finished DIY hack. What are you guys thinking? I mean, personally, I'm pretty happy with it. It only cost me 10 bucks at CVS. And I feel comfortable with not having to put my eyebrows on just to go like run errands or if I don't feel like doing my makeup fully that day. I'm fine with my eyebrows looking like this. I think it looks really good for $10 and only have to do it once a week. Like, I'm, I'm down. So... I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments, if you would try this, or if you have anything that you do so that you don't have to do your eyebrows every single day if you're uncomfortable with the way they look. Thank you guys for tuning in to It's a Golden Lifestyle. I'll see you on the next episode.